I want to talk about two lawsuits in the Arizona courts. These are election lawsuits, one filed by um, Attorney General candidate Abe Hamaday, and the other is Carrie Lake's lawsuit. So let me talk about the Hamaday lawsuit first. The um, Basically, Hamaday is asking for a new trial. A new trial, why? In order for him to show that there are thousands of ballots in the Arizona Attorney General race that were never counted. Now, we need to digest this for a moment because the left is always talking about democracy. We need to defend democracy. You have thousands of uncounted ballots. As Abe Hamaday's lawyer said in court, we're not alleging fraud. We're not talking about the fact that uh, the election was somehow rigged. We are saying that there are uncounted votes and that if you only count these votes, I'll win the election. The election was, I mean, almost absurdly close. And so if Hamaday is right, there is no reason not to count the votes. Now, what is really eerie is to hear the counter arguments that are being made. First of all, it seems quite clear that the votes weren't counted because Katie Hobbs, let's remember that Katie Hobbs was the Secretary of State. She was running the election. And so she had administrative supervision, supervisory control over how this election was going to be handled. So the Democrat, who was herself running for governor, is orchestrating and overseeing the process. And somehow in this process, thousands of votes don't get counted. Now, um, this seems to me to be a pretty easy call. Um, true, um, Chris Mays, the victorious attorney general Democrat, is saying, no, 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 it's all over. No, 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 I've already been sworn in. No, 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 it's what's done is done. So their idea is that whatever happened, and they're not even contesting that these votes haven't been counted. They, they're they basically saying there's no reason to count them now. Well, why not? Why would you, why would you in an election where there obviously was some impropriety, the impropriety here being uncounted votes? Um, you have, think of it, you have thousands of Arizona citizens who cast their ballots and they are being disenfranchised by their votes not being counted. I mean, imagine if there were 8,000 black voters whose votes weren't being counted. So it seems to me it's, it's in the hands of a Mojave County judge to make this decision, but it'll be very telling which way he rules because, um, because if he rules for Chris Mays, He's basically himself engaging in voter suppression, it seems to me. He's just siding with the Democrat. He doesn't want to cause to ruffle the process. He doesn't want to take an election that the Democrats are claiming is a done deal and throw it open to doubt. Um, it seems to me pretty clear Hamade won that election and yet has been has been deprived of it. And what he's trying to do is 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 affirm democracy, get those votes counted and let the chips fall where they where they may. Now. With um, Carrie Lake, the situation is a little more complicated. She is in court trying to prove that the Maricopa County authorities did not engage in proper signature verification. And she's got to show that they didn't do that to such an extent that it is by clear and convincing evidence a sufficient violation that it could have made a difference in the outcome of the election. Here, I think Carrie Lake is facing what seems to be, at least from what I read, a hostile judge who is trying to set a pretty high bar. And uh, Maricopa County is doing its best. Again, Maricopa County is not saying, by the way, that the process wasn't botched. They're just saying that they didn't botch it deliberately. And they're saying that the signature verification, they made their best effort to do this. Now, what's been coming out in the trial is that this best effort is really pretty horrible. First of all, a bunch of people evidently decided or were authorized to do signature verification by themselves working on their computers at home. So no supervision, no observers present. Uh, and this was evidently all done without letting anybody know. Uh, authorized by this guy, Stephen Richter, who was the election uh, recorder or the guy kind of the official who was overseeing the process. The other thing we see is there are videos of people doing signature verification and they are doing them at such a rapid speed. It's like a couple of seconds, three seconds per verification. And it's just sort of like click, 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 click. 
and, and, they're, and they're verifying hundreds, if not thousands of signatures this way, it's really obvious that they're not doing any signature matching. You're supposed to take the signature. Remember, these are for the mail-in ballots where the guy isn't coming in. And so all you have is an envelope and a piece of paper to, to make sure that that is a valid eligible voter, you got to find that voter and, and you got to look at their signature on record and, and then compare the two signatures. So this is a process that takes time. Now, in one case, Maricopa County goes, they had to admit, yeah, this is clearly, this guy is obviously not doing it right. By the way, they said, we fired that guy. Okay, you fired that guy, but that guy is responsible for approving tons of votes that went through. Did you go back and recount those votes? Did you do the signature verification? If there was somebody who was ultimately violating the process, did you in fact go back? No, they didn't. They didn't do anything like that. So this is a complex case that's gonna go before the judge. It's not clear to me how the judge is gonna go, at least it seems to me the judge doesn't want to rule in favor of Kerry Lake, and yet one of the really valuable things that Lake is doing is exposing what a botched and broken process we have for elections, not just in Arizona, but quite likely across the country.